Hi everyone, I'm Naomi Kurahara, co-founder and CEO of Infostera. So the Infostera is a space startup to provide an antenna sharing platform for satellite operators. So we are working in space industry. Sounds cool, right? <laughs> but you may think space business also sounds something from sci-fi movie and it doesn't feel real, almost. But we are real, we are startup working in Tokyo. So I want to talk about today what we are doing uh, now in Tokyo. So why space? People often ask, often ask me why I'm doing space business. The basic answer is simple, because I want to do so. When I was really young, I started to dream to work in space. My parents, my parents took me to a cinema park called Space World. That is a Japanese one. Unfortunately, the place no longer exists. That closed last year. However, I remember when I first visited there, it was really amazed me, and I started to dream to work in space. And in the same period, I also watched many new news articles about space. For example, first Japanese astronaut visited International Space Station, ISS, and uh, space shuttle missions in US were really active in that time. However, now, after 20, 25 years later, why I cannot go to space now? Why nobody is working in moon? So I'm really disappointed. And then uh, I started to feel, OK, I have to change this situation. If I fly myself to the moon, no one fly me to the moon. So I started in Fostera. By the way, do you know famous Japanese old story, Momotaro? The Momotaro is the name of the man who wanted to beat bad monster. To do so, he recruited a team member, dog, monkey, and bird. I also needed to my team member because I knew space systems, satellite industry. However, I didn't know about the startup or manufacturing things. So I recruited Katz, the left side of the screen. He had some experience about the other startup. And I also recruited Toshi, who was uh, working in the manufacturing industry more than 20 years. So three of us started Infostera in January 2016 and started to fight with big monster, space industry. Space industry is big, heavy, demanding, and uh, slow, but also changing. Besides my dream, there is a business opportunity in space industry now. Here shows the number of start space startups plotted in founded year. As you see, the, the number is increasing since 2010. However, unfortunately, not much, not many startups are doing, uh, are not yet succeeded. You should know SpaceX. They are doing good. But unfortunately, not many other start, uh, space startups reached the, pay, uh, the stage like them. So what is the difference of winning company and uh, the others in space business? I see simple uh, difference of uh, quality of the business. Winning company reach the product phase, service phase quickly, provide on-demand service. Also, it built to scale. 
and top of it all, they keep costs low. You may think this is really clear, obvious, and uh, those should be applied in all space startup. However, this is sort of difficult for space business because the space industry, space business, the resources still not unlocked yet, and also the many regulations we have to consider, and costs is expensive. You should know rocket is really expensive, but also the ground system for satellite business is expensive. You need an antenna uh, to communicate with the satellite, and the antenna is expensive. The, and the system to, uh, the, to control the satellite is expensive. And if you want to build an antenna, often it took six months, often more than a year. So those situations makes the space business difficult to succeed. But in Fostera, we want to change the situation. We will want to provide, we will provide the environment the other space business needs to succeed. We will just a uh, platform called the Stella Station. We want to solve the ground system issue. Uh, as I said, that is expensive. So we provide a platform to share antenna and ground system. It's surprisingly, maybe uh, most of you know, uh, most of them, an antenna typically used 40 minutes per day. It's expensive, but usage rate is really low. So we build a platform, including a device, to connect an antenna to our platform. So we distribute an antenna to all over the world, and once an antenna is connected to our sharing platform, the other operators could share the system all over the world. And we are thinking to use this platform for deep space uh, missions, future deep space business also. So that means when you visit Mars, we will provide a commercial communication. So you could use Twitter or Instagram on Mars. So next, here is my last part of my presentation. So why Tokyo? Why we are doing in this business in Tokyo? As you see, the space business is global, universal. Actually, our partners, customers, are not, most of the customers are not non-Japanese. Our partners, customers all over, are distributed to all over the world. So why we are in Tokyo? People, again, often ask me why I started Infosera in Tokyo. Actually, the space industry centered in US and Russia historically. And also, uh, when, I asked, when people asked to me, I see two assumptions behind. One, US company is global. Two, Japanese company cannot go to global. I didn't have answer the questions before. A global company in Tokyo, really? Do you think so? But now I can say we are in Tokyo because we are global. If I started Infosera in US, Maybe I focused on US market, market or US customer at the beginning because it is big. However, the US market and the global market is not equal. As you see, the population in Asia is growing and that means the future our end user will live in Asia. So space data, satellite data will be used in Asia widely in future. So we are in Tokyo. But also, you may think that there is a challenges to work in Tokyo, like language or culture things. But 
again, we made really global team. We have now 20 people, and uh, about the half is non-Japanese. We speak English in office. We use English for presentation, documentation, meetings, and our uh, not only for nationalities. Our background is really various. Our investors are also global. So, <coughs> my dream brought to me here. We made a global team in Tokyo. We are doing space real business in Tokyo. So why not your company can do this? So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Uh, by the way, the, the baby in front of me, uh, in front of the picture, uh, it's my one-year-old baby. So <laughs> I hope I have another chance to talk my workaholic mom challenge. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>